Now I'll go through and make a couple new expressions for the mouth, a smile, and a frown. I'll start by creating a new layer. Then I'll mask out the nose so I don't accidentally move it. Then with the new move topological brush, I'll start by moving the corners of the mouth. It helps to look underneath your model to get the shape right. I like to keep a mirror near my desk so I can check to make sure that I'm getting this right. Using reference photos also helps. Using layers is great because if you don't like what you do, you can always delete it and create a new layer and try again. Using the smooth brush, I'll soften out this lower lip as it presses against the teeth. I'll clear off the mask and use the inflate brush to give some more volume to the cheeks. And also move up the upper eyelid slightly. Now I can use the layer slider to check and see if I like this smile. If I need to change something, I can just click the record button again and make the changes. There, I like that much better. One advantage of using layers is that I can find an expression I like, maybe not at 100%, maybe 75 or 50. I'll rename this layer to Smile. Now I'll create a new layer and use this one for the frown. I'll use the Move Topological brush and pull the corners of the mouth down. Then use the Inflate brush to add a little volume there as well. Using the Move brush, I'll make a few more tweaks and inflate the lower lip. Now I'll use the slider to check and see if I like it. Now I can use the eyebrow layer to make a full expression. It really helps to add the eyebrows. And I can play around a little bit with the eyelids as well. With a variety of mouth, eyelid, and eyebrow shapes, I can create a full range of expressions for my character. I have shown you just a couple of examples. Some of the other mouth shapes I like to create are ones that roll the lips in or push the lips out. I also like to make a pucker, an O shape. I like to make one that puffs the cheeks out, a sneer, and maybe one that slides the mouth left and right. Depending on the needs of my story, I can create additional expressions to fit any scene. It's fun to play around with the layers. Sometimes you come up with expressions that you wouldn't have thought of on your own. I hope you have enjoyed this look into part of my ZBrush process. It has really sped up the way I can create characters and create expressions for them. I can now use these characters as reference, to paint from, or to sketch over in my illustrations. I also use ZBrush to create unique lighting situations that would be very time consuming to create otherwise. I hope by using these methods you'll be able to bring life to your ZBrush characters and also into your illustrations and artwork.